Sue Scott traveled to Mobile, Alabama to look at Avonics' economic and community impact. She joins us from Eli Lilly with more on what she learned during her trip. Greater Lafayette Commerce ranks Eli Lilly as the area's seventh largest manufacturer. 700 people work here and will continue to be employed once a new company takes the reins. Evonik employs a similar number of people in the Mobile area. Mobile has had a, a long history in the aerospace industry, shipbuilding industry, and the chemical industry. And a lot of that is because of our location uh, with the port, on the water. Overall, Evonik is obviously a major employer and a major employer not in terms of just numbers, but because of the industry that they're in, they're also a high wage employer. So they, they're major contributors to our overall economy. The Chamber of Commerce ranks Evonik as the fifth largest manufacturer in the Mobile area. Mayor Sam Jones says the company's also responsible for bringing other businesses to the area. We just re recruited Tyson Krupp, which is the largest economic development project in the United States. And um, some of the people from the Gusa and Evonik were very, very instrumental in us communicating with uh, this and Grub. President Tom Bates says Ivonic wants to be a good community partner, as Lily has been. You gotta have now. In Mobile, Ivonic supports a number of schools. At Hollinger's Island Elementary, the company provided grants for a butterfly garden, playground, and supplies. There, there's never enough public funding to do all that we need to do, and we rely very heavily on our uh, partners in education. Ivonic helps sponsor the best robotics competition. This is an investment by industry to ensure that they have a workforce and to also ensure that these students get uh, excited about science and technology. The company was a founding member of the Explorium, a hands-on science education center. You are standing in the Degusa Gallery. At the Explorium, visitors can experiment with yeah. bubbles or paint a virtual picture. Attendance is anywhere from 200,000 to 250,000 each year. Of that, 50,000 are school children. United Way Director Angelo Miller says Ivonic employees are important contributors to the organization's $5 million campaign. Average corporate employee giving is about $140,000 a year. Um, you can count on them uh, for that. President Tom Bates says decisions about community projects will be made at the local level. He says the priority right now for this plant is to make products for Eli Lilly and market the excess capacity of the plant. From Lilly, Sue Scott, News Channel 18. Thanks, Sue. If you want to take a tour of the Ivonic plant in Mobile, go to our website, WLFI.com, click on this story, and check out the bonus video. The company expects the acquisition of Tippecanoe Labs to be completed by the end of the year.